Meet Ashish Hemrajani. He is the founder of movie ticketing website BookMyShow.com. Started in 1999, BookMyShow has evolved its business model over a decade to keep up with the rapidly changing online payment modules and so maintaining its firm grip on the industry. The company has raised funding twice, first by selling a majority stake of 60% to investors Network 18 in 2007, which valued the company then at 24 crore rupees. But by 2012, venture capital firm Axel Partners have purchased close to a 20% stake, infusing 100 crore rupees into the company, propelling its valuation to 250 crores. The company's high margin event arm tied up with JP Group as the official ticketing partner of the Indian Grand Prix of Formula 1 giving strong muscle to its brand name. In an interview with VC Circle, Ashish Hemrajani talks about how the growing ecosystem has largely propelled his company's growth and how event management will be the theme moving forward. I think uh, our aspirations uh, 13 years ago in terms of where we wanted to reach have not changed till today. So I think it's the ecosystem that we grew with over a period of time. The ecosystem didn't exist in 1999. It, uh, there was a dot-com bubble that took place around 2001. We were a part of that. There was a dot-com bust. We were a part of that too. 2007 markets picked up. We were there. 2008, the global financial crisis happened. We, we stormed, uh, the, I mean, we, we weathered that storm as well. And uh, now as things, the ecosystem is developing and it's getting a little more mature, we continue to, to be in that space. So I think it's about consistency, it's about uh, being persistent, uh, persistent in what you do and it's about self-belief and I think that's what uh, Book My Show is all about, I guess. The growth rate has jumped up significantly. So you were growing sure. at 32% uh, uh, in what FI11, in FI12 you're at 81%. What are the key, what are the key drivers that are now give, supplying that growth? No, so see the whole environment changed. In 2001 what really happened was that we guys were uh, you know, building the ecosystem along with the industry. So what we were trying to do was install software at cinemas. We were running call centers. We were getting uh, analytics in place. We were doing home delivery of, of tickets. Uh, we were figuring out how consumers react to cash versus credit okay. versus debit. So a lot of those things were a part in creating an ecosystem on which uh, we could flourish. Um, from 2007, things have changed. Yeah. And I think in the last couple of years, it's it's gotten better. Yeah. Uh, we've always done ticketing for movies, plays, concerts, events. Uh, so even in '99, we've sold, uh, you know, concerts, but there weren't obviously so many. Okay. Uh, the ecosystem in India has changed, like you know, uh, mm. you know, kids. There's there's more money in the market. People are more discerning. Uh, uh, there is a need for alternative entertainment outside of movies. There okay. is uh, alternative entertainment outside of restaurants, bars. And I think uh, we're in that ecosystem to, to uh, you know, take advantage of that, I guess. Okay. So, and, and that's why the growth, uh, the rate has been different. Obviously, we have done a lot of things on our end. Okay. Uh, we've done a what lot. What would of, be those specific things? See, firstly, we've, we've always stayed with uh, the consumers. Okay. When the customer was not on the internet, we were on the telephone okay. along with them when the customer could not, when they did get their credit cards, we had options for credit cards. As debit cards penetrated and net banking became a little more popular, we offered those as an option. Um, uh, what we've also done is to utilize the mobile technology uh, pretty effectively. So okay. today, uh, Book My Show would probably be one of the top few e-commerce brands where our mobile strategy has worked, mm. I would say. And we worked really hard over the last two, two and a half years. Okay. Maybe way before it's time. And we made our fair share of mistakes, let me be okay. honest. Uh, but we went back and apologized to customers and users are forgiving mm -hmm. uh, when you are apologetic and you're honest and transparent okay. in the way you deal with them. Okay. So Book My Show today does about over 10% of its transactions on the mobile, okay. which is a very healthy number and it's a right. very healthy growth rate. Uh, 18 million, I think, was the amount that was quoted saying that you were going to shift that money into events and create more awareness and you want to pull people there. Give us an idea as to, you know, what is the balance between booking tickets and booking events at Book My Show and what is the strategy for getting more events on this platform? So let me correct that statement. Uh, we did uh, get funded. Uh, we, we did get about 100 crores in funding. Uh, 
and that would equate to 18 okay. million but not 18 million will go into this right. so that is one correction okay. having said that uh, for us uh, uh, non movie tickets is uh, extremely important okay. as a revenue stream it's grown rapidly over the last mm -hmm. two years with the exclusive partners for formula one in yeah. india where uh, with uh, the both international circuit jp uh, we manage five IPL teams, yeah. which is uh, Mumbai, Delhi, uh, Punjab, Rajasthan, and Pune, mm -hmm. and we handle the central IPL <coughs> rights for uh, uh, playoffs and finals. Okay. We've done that in the past. We've done FIFA ticketing. There's a lot of concerts that we're doing. There is the NH7 yeah. uh, Invasion Festival. There is uh, Sunburn has yes. been our partner for okay. us with us for five years. So there are a lot of these events that will continue to grow. Okay. And I think uh, the investment that we are making is. Uh, Again, creating that environment and ecosystem and infrastructure to support events. So whether it's food and beverage, uh, payment systems, uh, gate entry, ushering, uh, access control, uh, handheld devices for access control. We've got a book my show transaction system which we call BTS which runs the box office as well as outlets, the strategy. So all of that put together is where most of our thought and investment is going. How will you handle festivals, hmm. uh, stay of festivals, how will you handle, how will you handle multiple re-entries of a person. Okay. And those are the areas that we are spending a lot of our time and effort. You're talking about customer experience and you've started something or you're planning to start uh, the online wallet, right? Uh, what is such initiative, what are the other initiatives that you are taking in for in enhancing that online experience? And uh, how how beneficial or how much how how much rewarding is this? So I obviously cannot expose all our plans to you because okay. that that would be not be right. But I can say yes, wallet. Uh, you've jumped the gun, but yes, we are doing a wallet. Okay. Uh, we're a PCI DSS compliant company, and we're okay. one of the very few who are PCI compliant. And one of the reasons why we wanted to launch the wallet uh, was that we think a one-click sort of environment will get consumers to buy uh, tickets more conveniently because it's an impulse purchase and we want to help them mm. complete that transaction quickly. We all collectively work on it every day okay. to improve those m minor things and those tweaks on a daily basis so that mm. uh, the consumer experience continues to improve. Okay. Uh, whether it's uh, at the box office, whether it's at the outlets, whether it's the way customers queue up in line, whether it's the way they buy the tickets, whether it's our customer contact center, uh, or uh, you know, it's even our uh, social media platforms. So even on Book My Show today, if you go onto our Facebook page, our fan page, till two years ago we were zero fans. Today we are about 1.5 okay. billion. We've grown that, but it's about managing that growth. Mm. So today, anywhere between five to eight percent of our uh, fans engage with us on a daily basis, and that's okay. our only channel to talk to customers. Okay. How rewarding is the Grand Prix for Book My Show? Yes. Have we seen a full uh, a full stadium? The well, last year was nearly a full house. Okay. I wouldn't say that it was an absolute like every seat was sold, but it was nearly a full house. But a full house over there is hundred thousand seats. Okay. So it's a very very large uh, you know, circuit. Okay. So, I mean, I and I just think that Rome wasn't built in a day. Okay. And motorsport in this India will take time. Well. Over, over years to become popular. Okay. There are many things that will be done at that circuit um, events in and around Formula One. Uh, even throughout the year there will be open track days, open race days, mm. uh, there will be other companies racing, there will be other forms of racing, uh, motorbike racing, there will be racing of other classes of okay. categories of cars, uh, there will be concerts and events at that arena. So there's a lot of things that can happen at the both international circuit. So it's just not about one event. If you were having this discussion in 2015, where would you see or what would be the balance between uh, movie ticketing and event ticketing and where would you see, would you see the event ticketing grow significantly more than movie ticketing? See, I am no fortune teller, but I can tell you that, that the growth in the non-movies business has been tremendous. And what would be that? I mean, it's bizarre because the base was really small, right? Okay. So now the base is growing. Uh, I can't put it in percentage terms because none of us can actually say that Th there are every day there are more and more organizers coming up with new events they've signed up uh, new promoters are signing up artists from across the world uh, there are venues that and spaces that are being created in India something like a blue frog for example mm. didn't exist yeah. where the official ticketing partners if you go to blue frog you can buy a ticket today okay. uh, on book my show for any blue frog uh, in Bombay or Delhi uh, the comedy store 
who mm -hmm. would imagine that there would be a strong stand up comedy uh, uh, sort of space uh, permanent location mm -hmm. in india even today while uh, the non movies ticket sales are a fraction of the movie tickets okay uh, in terms of revenue it's far higher because of the transaction size and the okay. ticket size but over there we do a lot more it's just not online sales or mobile sales it's also okay. running the entire event on ground uh, so my belief is the ideal world for me would be a 50 50 sort of a sales strategy that okay. 50% of our tickets would go through movies and 50% okay. would be non movies i mean that for me would be an ideal world but okay. uh, who's to say where we go from here okay but you also clocked your maiden profit seven yeah we've been ebitda back positive for you know about seven or eight quarters okay so now what is the next phase of growth there is one organic growth with the events that is getting more events on board but is there any other way to just move is there a way to move inorganically is there way is there any way to expand in a different strategy yeah. so see largely the growth in india has come from the top 5 uh, to 10 cities okay. even though bookmy shows present in close to 80 cities it's really the large you know the, the top 5 extended to top 10 now it's the top 20 cities or whatever but i think the challenge is what do you do uh, in class 2 class 3 towns and i think that's where Uh, the real india is and everybody wants uh, a piece of that action I, i would be silly for me to say that no we are never going to acquire i it mm. would be silly to say that there is a target which we are aiming at okay i mean if an opportunity does uh, possess itself uh, uh, you know presents itself sorry at the right time uh, at the right price yeah. uh, we find the business good the people good uh, i mean who's to say that we will not uh, okay. seriously look at it but to say that there is something already on the table mm. it's it's not true so i'm saying i'll ask you this question because yeah. you know it's not it's not really india centric but uh, the country is around you know like i'm wondering if uh, book my show can be the official ticket sponsor for the sepang circuit in in malaysia or you know any other sort of event around so does does book my show today have a plan of that sort well we <laughs> you know we would like to anybody would like to grow and say that listen i am in five countries or 10 countries and all of that but our challenges in india itself are so immense okay that sometimes uh, let me be honest it's not like we haven't thought of it okay book my show today does run in new zealand we've just launched australia as well we're doing okay. some movie ticketing business there but just our challenges in india are so enormous and the potential in india so it's okay. just not challenges but the potential and the challenges are so enormous that sometimes you come back to the drawing board to say that why are we even doing that okay so it that it's that constant uh, tossing of the coin okay uh but i would say india is is dominates 99% of all our uh, effort and time okay is sufficiently enough to say today that book my show has created a strong barrier to entry for any other player to come in in terms of just the name and being first player or is there something that do you see do you see, Let me rephrase. Do you see room for competition in this space at any point? It varies from industry to industry. So let me put it this way: in the vertical uh, e-com business, in any market, you would see the top two players being the number one, and then you would have the other guys at a distant third, fourth, fifth, or then you would have verticals as in the e-com space. in the ota you will always have the top 3 4 guys so okay. that would which would be uh, the top guys in a country in our industry in our space it's the winner takes it all okay sort of market there's very little room for the second guy and it's not yeah. just purely because what we've done sure we've been the first we've got the first mover advantage i started this in 99 um sure we've made some right moves uh, we've been uh, consumer and user centric and i think sometimes we give ourselves far less credit than what we should at least the team also the way the industry is set up that it's it's one player that takes most of the market in our industry at least okay and it's just that we are fortunate to be in that space so i guess uh, that's what's your question all right ashish on that note thank you for talking to me such a pleasure